up, astronauts? Uh, today's gonna be just like a normal day. I am back on my own, on the road again. And I was staying at this um, spot on the beach. But yesterday, uh, as I was walking from the bathroom back to my van, this like older guy who's been staying there for a couple days too, he like got out of his car and um, told me that there has been a guy like in the mornings and at night like walking by my van and like you know staring at it and stuff like that and he was like just be careful um and like i saw the guy too like as i was walking to the bathroom he was walking past me and i didn't think anything of it he said hey man, what's up and i was like hey what's up um but apparently he had been like looking at my van several times over the past couple of days so he told me to be careful um and i was like you know what this is my last night staying at this beach spot, even though it's a really nice spot. This is not the beach spot that you guys have been seeing in the videos, by the way. Um, this is a spot that I just got to um, after I went back north. Um, so I've been staying there for a couple days and then this guy approached me. So I'm not staying there tonight. I'm gonna head a little inland, actually. I think I'm gonna head to the forest. Um, I'm gonna hop on iOverlander and try to find some spots because I would like to find a nice private area where I can take a shower with my electric shower. Because honestly, it's it's been a minute since I've had like a real water pouring down shower. I've honestly been using like wet wipes and stuff like that, splashing in like the river and all that kind of stuff because I haven't been near like a Planet Fitness or any real established showering area so it's been a little rough but um i'm gonna try to shower today and then i'll probably just make some food maybe watch a movie rosa gave me um well she didn't give me a suggestion she pretty much um was in disbelief that i hadn't seen uh the movie uh, what is it called devil wears prada and so <laughs> Um, yeah, I downloaded that yesterday because I know wherever I go today, it's probably not going to be in service. So I downloaded that movie at Starbucks yesterday, and I think I'm going to make some food, take a shower, watch a movie, just have a chill night if I can find some private land to stay on. So I'm at Walmart right now. We're going to go get some food to cook later tonight, and then we're going to hop on iOverlander and try to find something good. Oh, by, by the way, if you guys are new here, my name is Mateo. I live in this 1999 Chevy Astro van with my cat Lars right there sleeping. And this is Winter's Blue. <laughs> So I think I may have found a good spot. It's about 20 minutes away. It's like, just like a boondocking spot in the middle of the woods. So let's go check it out. Hopefully, I mean, you can never know and you can only hope, but I would love to have a spot to myself for like a day.
I might stay for a couple days if I had the entire place to myself. So here's hoping, but let's hit the road. Okay, so I hate how people drive on these hills and these like big curves, it's super annoying. It says 35 miles per hour and everybody's trying to go 70 on these like crazy windy roads. But this is the spot. I mean, I'm not at it yet. I think it's like a few miles of this road. Oh man. Okay, both of those spots are full. I think those might be the only two spots. Might have to reverse out of this entire thing. <sighs> oh no, what the hell is going on? Uh, yep, I am stuck. Hold on, Bubby. Okay. Got out of that. That was, that was stressful. That was more stressful than I thought it was gonna be. Oh man, I thought I was stuck and my tires were like running. I had to get new tires like ASAP. Whew. Okay. I don't know if it's hot outside or if I'm just hot because I was stressed, but uh, <laughs> Let's do a quick little walk around and see what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, there is a Sprinter van there and there's a truck up there. <laughs> this is really nice. Oh man, I really want to get in there. Like, am I allowed to get in there? I think Lars wants to come out. I feel so bad. Oh, I feel so bad. I don't, I straight up, I straight up dunked him into the water. <laughs> Ever since he was a baby, he's liked water. But uh, I, I don't think, I don't think like that. But he was very cool. He didn't freak out. He just let me pick him up. See, he's okay. Back in the day, when I first got him, he would always jump in the shower while I was in there and in the bath. But this was uh, definitely been a few levels up. But he's good. Drying him off. <laughs> This is my shower. Water goes in here. And then this little motorized pump goes in there. And the water comes out of here. I'm sorry, Bobby. <laughs> I 
I'm really mad at you. <laughs> Especially that specific rock that was really like the slipperiest rock I've ever felt in my entire life. That was kind of fun though, but yeah, don't do that again. All right guys, so I changed into my shorts. Uh, I'm going to clean the, the van real quick, like clean it up really good so it's easier to live. I'm gonna clean up and then I think I'm gonna take a dip in there and then also grab some water from there and then use it to take a shower. I don't think I'm gonna boil it because I just don't feel like boiling it. I've got biodegradable soap. Well, it's, it's uh, soap made out of goat's milk. Um, smells really good. I'm gonna be using that. And I'm just gonna take a quick shower and then we're gonna cook and then watch Devil Wears Prada. And I'll give you guys my honest review of it. So Rose, if you're watching this, I'm watching this for you. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna dunk down and I'm coming right back out. <laughs> It's really cold. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing cold. Guys, look at that giant banana slug. I just wanted to show you that. Not the longest shower, but that felt amazing. I'm gonna, I took a body shower today and in the morning I'm gonna wash my hair. Cause in the morning I'm gonna actually heat the water up. That was way too cold to go on my face. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember, but McDonald's used to have these steak and egg bagels that they served for breakfast and they were really delicious. I used to get them all the time until one day they stopped selling them and they stopped and I haven't been able to find one since. So today I'm gonna make that. I found these really nice brioche bagels, which I've never even heard of before or had, but they're super soft. And I also wanted to do fries, but I wanted to do it a little bit different. I was thinking sweet potato, but then I found yucca. <laughs> so I'm gonna do yucca fries and a steak egg bagel for dinner.
Dude, no way. This is the same banana slug that was down the trail earlier. I I swear I could tell that it was coming to say what's up. It's been like three hours and I've been like wondering where he's been or where he's at. He came to say what's up. I don't know what they eat. I, I have no idea what they eat. I should I should look that up. What's up, dude? <laughs> Yo, he came to say what's up. That's super cool. He's obviously heading right towards me. Um, I don't know what to do about that. I love banana slugs so much. This is like really cool. <laughs> he actually came all the way up that trail to come say hi. Safe travels, buddy. Yep, that's the best breakfast sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. It's possibly top 10 sandwiches I've had in my entire life. That was, it's, it's not even, that's it's not even done. Like, I know when food's good, when it takes me like 30 minutes to eat it because I just want to savor each bite. It doesn't look like much. No, actually, it looks pretty good. This thing is incredible. I would also like to make it known that these fries are really good. This whole meal is like a good 
8.7 out of 10. Okay, honestly, that was some of the best food that I've made on the road. But the mosquitoes are out <laughs> right now. So I'm gonna clean up real quick and head inside. We're off to a good start. On the face is a map of the world, is a map of the world. I love this song. You can see she's a beautiful girl. It's currently four o'clock in the morning. I woke up at 2.30. Hey, let me, whoa. I woke up at 2.30 and I was just watching YouTube videos considering whether or not I should go back to sleep or um, hit the road. And then Lars pooped. It stunk up the whole van. <laughs> that made the decision for me. So I'm going to go ahead and head back into the nearest town and go to Starbucks. It's 4 o'clock right now. I think they open at 4.30. Um, I'm not sure what time the inside opens, but I need to edit this video. So, and hopefully beat that traffic because I haven't heard any cars go by in a while. So hopefully right now is still a good time to drive. I feel like he might, I feel like I could honestly turn him into a water cat because he was trying to get back out. <laughs> yeah, water cat. See you the next one, guys. Peace.